Did you even know? Arm of God edition. Okay, in my defense, I'm not at home. I'm in a hotel bathroom, and the bathroom looks really nice. Okay? Yeah. As always, man, you already know we gotta bring our Bible literally everywhere we go. We can't go anywhere without our Bible. It, 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 that's, that's illegal for Christians. You can't go anywhere without your Bible. And we got the theology book as well. Let's get into it. Now, there was one point in time in my life where I was just like, bro, what in the world does the armor of God mean? I know the um, sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, the, the shield of faith, and the shoes of the gospel of the peace, but I'm trying to figure out, bro, what, how do I use this? What does it mean? And I'm here to help you with that right now. Let's get into it. That's the second term. Easy. Just get into the video. Number one, helmet of salvation. Now, oh, that's not, that's not helmet of salvation. <clears throat> okay, helmet of salvation. Now, this is in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 17, and it says, put on the helmet of salvation. This is believing that Jesus Christ died for your sins and he rose again. Helmet of salvation. Next, we got the breastplate of righteousness. No, it's not this, okay? Something like this, all right? Now, you find this in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14, the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness is being good, being, being nice, being humble, being kind, being fair to others, and standing up for the weak as well. Just living out God's commandments. And next, we got the belt of truth. I actually rock this. We find this in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14. Truth keeps us from giving in to the world's beliefs. Like, there's a saying, if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. This is what that is. If someone tells you that something is true, but it doesn't align with God's word, then it just ain't it, my G. It, it's, it's not true, all right? It ain't it. Next, we got the shoes of the gospel of peace. Now, this is not a joke. This is literally on the only image that I can find that will pop up on TikTok, okay? They're actually not that bad, if you want to be honest. I'll cop them. Now, you find these new holy water Christian lemon pepper scripture steppers in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. Now, the truth of the gospel of peace, it means staying right with God, it means living right, and also being content in every situation. Jesus did say, blessed are the peacemakers in the Beatitudes, and you can find that in Matthew chapter 5. Ah, one of my favorites, the sword of the spirit. Man, I'll be going to war with this thing, bruh. No cap. We find this in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, the sword of the spirit, and that is God's word. God's word is our offensive weapon. When we're being tempted, we use the word of God to slice down them temptations. When the devil is lying to you, you use the word of God to slice down them, 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 them lies, man. When we tell others what the Bible says, the Holy Spirit helps to touch that person, make them think about their thoughts, and want to be forgiven. The shield of faith, my second favorite. We find this in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. The shield of faith quenches every single arrow the enemy throws at us. Faith is believing that God will keep his promise, and the more we build up our faith, the more we run from doubt. 